Hey everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathy Miller. Welcome back to our channel. And uh, today I'm doing something off the wall. I'm doing 11 by 14 canvas. I already have it flooded with my light blue base, which is my um, Payne's Gray mixed into my Color Place House paint from Walmart. No silicone, no glue, no water added to it. It's just ready to use white parentheses satin. I am doing a drizzle, a wreck, a bloom, and a spin. However, my wrecking, I usually use my little skewer. Uh-uh, not today, people. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm using a cake decorator that you use for frosting on your cakes. Oh, well, you might as well use it for something because you certainly don't make any cakes. Yes. <laughs> so, we're going to see how that works out today. So, my drizzle colors are Light Blue by Artist Loft, Jasmine Pigment by Primary Elements, Mid Yellow and Pearl Canary by Arteza, Emerald Primary Element Pigment, Azo Orange by Amsterdam, Bordeaux Red by Arteza, Ultramarine Blue by Arteza. My bloom colors are going to be light blue, swapping out jasmine for Bordeaux red, mid yellow and pearl canary, and my emerald green. Okay, well. And my black cell activator, my black magic is going to be my CA. Okay, okay so let's start with our drizzle. And I haven't done drizzle in weeks. Hope I remember how to do the drizzle, <laughs> Phil. Yeah, you have, haven't done a drizzle in a while, so this ought to be something, and you're throwing in that extra little cake decorator. Cake decorator's wrecking tool, so oh. should be interesting. Now, because you're doing a bloom in the middle, you, you, don't, you don't have to drizzle over the whole can, uh, it's no. not really a canvas, it's a... This is a, a board. Board, okay. And these, these are actually just my practice boards that I uh, do a lot of experiments on. You can get them at Blick. Um, I don't know if you can get them at Michael's or not, because I always, well, I brought these from back you're home. You're going to so. have to do these edges, don't you? Yeah, a little bit. Oh, yeah. Uh... But I, I was going to do that in a different color, but that's okay. I was going to do that in the darker blue to have, you know. Oh, I see. All right, well. Well, now that you gave away my secret. <laughs> That's okay, though, Phil. Okay, the is, is I might not have that. I have to go over in my stash and get another color blue. Okay, what color is this, jasmine? This is jasmine, okay. primary element pigment. Kathy is using a real nice variety of pigments and paints, and she has a special recipe in video 248 of how she makes those paints and pigments for drizzles and blooms and swipes. You got that right, Phil. I'll have a direct link to that video in the description box. Looks like I'm gonna be stuck making paints tomorrow. But what's new, right? <laughs> okay. This is my azo yellow. Oh no, this is my mid yellow and my canary. What this technique, well, I'll let you say the next color. This is emerald green pigment, by primary elements. Okay. By having a bloom in the middle and the drizzle around the edge, uh, I think what Kathy's hoping for is a real nice bloom in the middle, of course, and then some very interesting coloration and... Um, around the edges. Around the edges with that wrecking tool. It's... It's a tool, yes, Phil, that you decorate our cakes with, remember? Because <laughs> we don't decorate cakes, so we just have to find uses for all the things that we have here. Well, isn't that like for icing on a cake? Yeah. Well, you, you know I hate icing on a cake anyway, so uh, I'd rather have cake without icing. And tell them what I do. 
Well, you take all my icing and slap it on your cake. And what else do I do? Along with a whole can of uh, Miracle, not Miracle Whip, uh, whipped cream. Yeah, but oh, Miracle Whip. <laughs> <laughs> that wouldn't be too tasty on a cake. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even eat Miracle Whip anymore. I have Hellman's. But I just I just take spoonfuls of frosting out of the, the can. Forget the cake. Because Phil can tell you I don't, I hardly eat the cake. That's true. I take every, ever soon as they say, does anybody want extra frosting? Me. I'm a frosting queen. Okay, I gotta just go into my stash over here for a minute, Phil, so you can keep what? them occupied and tell them what? something. Oh yeah, put me on the spot. That's right. <laughs> I just I have to use this oh, for my okay. uh, bloom. Oh, I see. What color is that? This is actually uh, turquoise, or yeah, which is real close okay. and mermaid scales oh, okay. pigment. All right. Um, because I'm switching this out. Okay, so now you're getting ready for your bloom colors. I am getting ready for my bloom colors. Okay. I don't think Kathy has enough to choose from, do you? And I'm switching out the Bordeaux red and I'm making it with Love Struck. Oh, okay. Here we go. So, now I have to pop my bubbles. As you can see, Phil, that's what you were supposed to tell me. Pop your bubbles, Kath. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to use that wrecking tool. There's going to be something, Phil. Hopefully, <laughs> it, just keep your fingers crossed that this turns out right. Well, I hope so. It could this is an experiment. It could <laughs> we'll add some, uh, certainly some interest to the edges of the, uh, of the bloom. Yes going to. Okay. Okay. I gotta take a deep breath. I can't really see. Look at that. Okay. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Isn't it? Yes. I think what I want to do, I think I should have done this over there too. I'm just doing this to see if it's going to be different like this because it drags most of the paint. Mm -hmm. Well, that's this how you're doing now is more colorful than the first right. side. Right. See, that's what I was afraid of. So what happened? Did you push too hard or something? No, no. What it does, it drags too much of the paint off. If you go, it's like if you, um, this is a perfect example. The lady had a question about uh, doing the cell activator all the way down. See what happens? It drags most of the paint oh, and you end up. Okay, all right. So that's a perfect example. Are you going to do anything with the drizzle there and there? And on each Oh, I end? better. <laughs> I better. I was getting so excited, Phil. <laughs> that I almost forgot about that. I wish this had a little more color. Well, we'll we can see. fix that. We'll see what can't happens. We? We'll see what we happens. We can happens. fix that. We can fix that. We're just going to put more drizzle over it, which will be fine. It'll be just fine, Phil. You wait and see. It'll bring up back a little bit more color. Okay. Because that's what we're looking for. So we can fix that. It's only paint. I love it when people go, I love how you always say, it's only paint, Kath. <laughs> that's what I do. It's only <laughs> paint. Okay. We're going to go right back here and go right over this now. See? Oh, you picked up some more. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. All right. So now you've drizzled and you've wrecked, and now you were going to do a bloom. 
now we're doing our bloom. Okay. Do you, do you actually need to, that much more for my bloom? In the middle? You do? Yeah. Okay. Otherwise, it's not gonna All right. go anywhere. What's going on here? Getting low? Yeah, this one's too low. But I want to use a color, so. No. That'll be fine. Yeah, any color for your base is fine. That's a light green. Correct. Okay, so now this is my turquoise and my mermaid scales. This is going to be, <laughs> I got jasmine, this is love stroke. Next is my mid yellow and my Pearl Canary. Last but not least is my Emerald. I think that's big enough. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, okay, I gotta pop that bubble. Okay, now we're gonna put our magical black on. And see what happens. I don't know. This is going to be something because we've never done this. Okay. We might not have to spin this. Right. That's possible. Just a little, probably. Look at the colors popping up, Phil. Yeah, you're getting some nice Ooh. colors there. No, I think you definitely need to spin it. Yeah, oh no, we, we have to spin it. I'm loving these colors. See, I remembered to turn it. This is going to be kind of pretty if we can keep some of these edges. Oh, you'll keep some of them. Just uh, start spinning with a slower spin and see how much it stretches it and go from there. <laughs> Jeez. I'm getting excited, <laughs> Phil, as you can okay. tell. Okay. okay. The drizzle, the wreck, and the bloom are done. And now... We're going to be spinning this little puppy to see what we got. Were you, did you want to try any uh, of your other type wrecking before you spin or no? Or just let well, it spin and see what happens? I could maybe oh. wreck some of the bloom a little. Well, it's up to you. I mean, uh, why not? This is our experiment. So, I mean, why not try it? You know? Right. I mean, you don't know. I've never done this, so we might get a funky. It's got a real nice center bloom with the greens and the love struck. Yeah. You never know what our composition is going to be with this, you know? Mm-hmm. Where is my, uh, here, I got to do this. I can't be like Phil hey. and drag. Had to get rid of that line, it was bugging me. I think I'm yeah. going to leave it. I think it's going to be kind of cool. 
All right. Now, I'm going to go pretty slow and see what happens. So I want that middle part to have that uh, bloom. Whoa. Yeah, hey, I'm liking this. Got to go the other way. I'm liking this. Yeah, so I'm far, really so liking good. this. This is, now this is really different, let me tell you. Look at, this is really cool. Yeah, you, you've got that really nice center of bloom, which... Um, that is bloom really, is cool. It is, and then look at what the drizzle and that wrecking with that cake, cake thing. decorator. <laughs> it's... it's Adds a lot of interest around the bloom, colorful interest. Now, did you want to try to center the bloom a little bit or no? You don't have to. Well, it is pretty centered. Yeah. Okay, you got it. It's easier the, if I do this. A nice love struck in, in, was it emerald green? I think you used for the bloom. A little bit of the blue coming around the outside. Yeah, I used uh, the turquoise. I think that's the fine. love you struck. Probably, it is centered. Yeah, it's centered. Okay. So again, here uh, are the outer edges. That, that is were... really actually pretty cool, if you ask me. <laughs> yes, I like it. Well, I do too. I think it uh, it adds some kind of <laughs> <laughs> funkiness. funkiness. Yeah. Oh my God, we said at the same time <laughs> needles, oh, pins. Um, yeah. Does so, anybody remember needles pins? And you really got a really nice bloom in the center. This is cool. I'm going to try this again on a, a canvas. Yes. A bigger canvas because I think this will, this is going to be really cool. Okay, everybody, this is my new experiment that I tried. You got to see it. Um, I like it. I think it's ra Raleigh. I think it's really different. Um, I like all my colors on the sides from my uh, drizzle. Yes. Yeah. And I love my new swiping tool. I mean, my new uh, wrecking tool. Where did I put it? Oh, no. I don't know where I put it. <laughs> well, it's somewhere around here. Um, it's great. If you have a chance. You <laughs> lost it already. I know I can't find it. <laughs> it's gone, Phil. <laughs> Where the heck? I know, I don't get now, it. Now that is strange. Did you take it, Phil? No. Where is it? Well, anyways. <laughs> we'll find I don't it. know where it we'll is. Find <laughs> it. How can you lose something? We haven't stepped three feet away from I this whole thing. I don't know. Are you kidding me? This is ridiculous. I have no idea people <laughs> where it went. No. I know somebody saw where it went. I don't know. But anyways, if you like it, give me a thumbs up. Please <laughs> subscribe to our channel. Um, hopefully I can find my new tool to show you again at the end. Um, but anyways, have a great day. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love for all of you to join us every day. This is stuff that we come up with. So until the next time, everybody, bye. I'm going to go look for my tool. Phil can show you the end product. Have a great one.